Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this one, I actually just wanted to share an insider clip from our Seven Figure Systems group coaching program. This is, you know, our offer where we take people who either are starting from scratch and just want to get straight to the meat or who already have a, sort of a semi-scaled business and we take them to a million dollars a year. And this is just breaking down uh, our Facebook organic model for getting clients. And in this call, I use one of our clients sort of to help explain the process because he's taken it to a really great level. It's Aaron Spikes. He went from literally scratch, total zero. I remember he met up for coffee with me here in Indianapolis uh, when he was first getting started, just joined the program, and he was driving through the state. We set it to meet up. And he was, you know, he had maybe one client. Uh, and now he's projecting a $50,000 a month uh, in January. I'm recording this at the end of December currently, uh, which is incredible. So, you know, less than eight months later, he's used this exact prospecting model to grow his business from pretty much scratch to $50,000 in business coming in with uh, a single $10,000 day profit in his business following our Facebook flywheel model. So this is what we teach among a few other high level, high scale prospecting models for your consulting agency, coaching business, whatever it might be, uh, to get you high qualified sales calls to sell your services or your coaching or your consulting or your software or your mastermind or whatever it is that you've got. So this model works for literally anybody with any sort of an offer. And if you don't have an offer like that, we even help you build an offer worth three to $10,000 that you can sell. Uh, we've done that for tons of our clients. The two uh, million dollar a year clients that we've created, we help them mastermind their offer, use this model among our paid models to scale, and it's worked out really well for them. So in this video, you're gonna learn exactly how to use Facebook organic marketing to land tons of high ticket deals. And look, honestly, like this material in this video is some of the high level stuff that we help you with hands on when you're growing your business with us. If you're to schedule your call down below and we decide to accept you into one of our programs and you're a good fit, I mean, we're gonna implement these things for your business hands on and make sure it works for you. So, you know, if you are excited about learning more about what we do and how it all works, this is a great glimpse into what we do inside of our seven figure systems group calls. Uh, and this is just me going back and forth with one of our successful clients, Aaron, uh, on how to use Facebook to grow your business. So enjoy this video. Watch it from front to back. Don't watch it on double speed, 1.5x speed. Just watch it normally. Have a pen and a paper and write out some action steps for yourself. And ask yourself, honestly, after watching this video, if you could see that what we've got going inside of our Seven Figure Systems program could help you grow your business, have no reservations and schedule a call down below and speak with myself or my team. Look, you tend to attract the sort of behavior that you put out yourself. And if you are reserved about scheduling a call or reserved about make, having an offer made to you uh, that might cost a good bit of money, then you're gonna attract that sort of uh, behavior from your clients as well because you know that's just how the world works. You attract people like yourself. If you're reserved about making investments and getting help, other people will be reserved about working with you as well. And this is one of the big lessons I've learned. It's why I've spent nearly $80,000 on my self-education before I'm even 22. It's one of the best investments I've ever made. So if you could see that we can help you, come and join. Super shameless plug. I know we can help tons of people who are watching this video right now. So come down, schedule your call. That being said, enjoy this clip from inside of our Seven Figure Systems uh, group coaching program. Well, cool. So I wanted to uh, make a video here um for the program we'll kind of leave this as a recording if we can nail it in one take also give dylan and uh ferdy and luke if you wanted to give it a shot more insight into the facebook model uh and just you know because aaron i mean you're honestly you're rocking that model like more than i am at this point for sure um and it's a great prospecting and sales call generating tool um and dylan I think it's going to be huge for you specifically because your niche, there's a lot of groups out there that hang out. And Ferdy, if you do any e-com work, which I think is, if I remember correctly, you're in that industry. Yep. Uh, you know, this, this is a pretty solid, this is a pretty solid uh, strategy. So I'll kind of first explain it. And then Aaron, I'll just kind of shoot to you whenever I need like specific context, if that sounds good, just so you can show some examples of posts and conversations you've had and people that you've been able to close and stuff like that. I think that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. So I kind of call it the, there's two words for, or two names for it. You've got OMA, which is organic market attraction. This is like what some people have called it, but I actually started coining the term recently, um, uh, the Facebook flywheel, because it just, it gets easier and easier. Um, and I think, Aaron, you could probably speak to that, but 
as you post more and as as your uh, friends list grows and as your reputation grows, it just gets easier and easier to, to source clients. So the goal of all of our strategies that we help you guys with in this program is to do a few things. It's to, um, A, you know, turn, you know, one unit of effort or money or whatever it is, just turn inputs directly into outputs. So if we're going to do an action, it's going to create an equal and opposite reaction of whatever kind. So with our guest cell funnel, for example, you know, that means, you know, we know we're spending $150 per sales meeting with the, you know, the Facebook flywheel. It's like, we know that that means, you know, for every three posts we put out, we, we get a client, right? So it's just measurable results in your business. Uh, the most important thing is that you're tracking your numbers, guys. As you build any of these processes that track your numbers, uh, if you need help with ideas on how to track your numbers and spreadsheets, anything, feel free to use us as a resource there. I think one of our clients, James, actually built out like a whole spreadsheet for tracking the VSL. Uh, and we've got people who have come up with good ways of tracking the, the uh, Facebook stuff. Uh, as well as one input to one output, the other goal of our prospecting strategies is to uh, build you a platform. Some people call it a personal brand. Some people call it like a reputation, whatever you want to call it. doesn't matter to me. Essentially, you want to build at any time. You want to have a big list of people, just a big mound of people that anytime you can just put a little message in there and, and you know, out the other end, you, you get meetings, right? Um, whether it's the VSL or it's, you know, the Facebook strategy, you are collecting leads for the future with the VSL. It's in the form of emails or, you know, Facebook pixel data that you can retarget. And with, with the Facebook flywheel, it's in the form of like friends or uh, people who have interacted with you on your personal profile, um, or it's, you know, people who have messaged you asking for your help, whatever, right? And over time, it just gets easier and easier and easier. I mean, the $200,000 a month earners that we've created both utilized and continue to use, utilize the Facebook flywheel. Okay. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty powerful strategy. Um, and it's, it's, it's something to definitely go into. So let me explain it here. Um, Aaron, do you just want to talk about real quick what it's been able to do for your business? Can you just talk about like where you were before and after you, you really applied this thing? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's literally done everything for my agency. This is the, until I started utilizing paid advertising, this is the only strategy that I used. And it helped me. I mean, I hit my 10 K day that I had was all organic. I had, you know, my, my, my 25 K months all organic. And, um, if I was, I mean, honestly, the, the month that I'm going to have in January, I think we'll, we'll be somewhere around 40 K that'll be pretty much all organic. So it's, it's super, super powerful. And, and like Trey said, it's, it's like exponential growth. Um, you're, you're really building leverage every time you post. And, and it's just a compounding effect until eventually you have these huge audiences in each one of these Facebook groups. And every time you post, you're getting 100, 200 likes and five, 10 people reaching out to you, um, wondering about your services. So it's, it's super powerful. Do you mind sharing where you were before you applied this real quick? And then I'm going to get into the details of the model. And if I get anything wrong, honestly, Aaron, correct. Because you're using it more than I am at this point. But yeah. where were you at the start? Before I started using it, I was at zero. Um, I didn't know it was like raw zero. It doesn't, doesn't get better than that. <laughs> uh, this is a... Good video, man. This is going in the course for sure. Uh, so from zero to $40,000 a month organic using the Facebook flywheel, let's dig into this. So Aaron, you correct me if I'm wrong on anything, but this is, this is what we taught and this is what we have you do. And the reason we call it a flywheel, if you guys understand the concept of a flywheel, it's basically a wheel that is designed to, as it spins, build more momentum onto itself. And it just gets faster and faster and faster. Like uh, Jeff Bezos, Bezos, however you say it, uh, you know, teaches the flywheel concept to his executives, any decision they make to look at, does it positively or uh, negatively affect the company flywheel? Does it 
make it easier for us to get more clients and get us more clients? Or does it make it harder for us to get more clients and get us less clients or customers? So this is why we also teach a leveraged model of consulting where we have you consult with your clients on a done with you level where you're helping them put it in place themselves instead of just doing the work done for you for them because it just doesn't apply. It doesn't, it doesn't get faster and faster. It actually gets harder and harder and harder to get clients. The more clients you have, the harder it is to get. So we don't help you with that. So that's the flywheel concept. It's, it's when you create a feedback loop of growth. So the Facebook model, what you want to do, A, you want to join, I would say five to 10 groups at least in Facebook. So go to Facebook, search your niche, search e-com, search, you know, if you're, if you're in the e-commerce niche, search e-com. If you're in the fashion niche, fashion brands, if you are consulting with software companies, join the software groups, join the SaaS startup groups. If you're consulting with uh, solopreneurs, uh, fitness, whatever it is, you join five to 10 of those groups. Uh, that's the first step. Um, and then you want to interact with some of these people on a low level, comment on some of the posts, engage basically. And, and a way to do that is comment, add friends, hang out, build that reputation for yourself, become that authority, help people out in the ways that you, that you know you can. Um, so that's the first step. Once you've joined five to 10 groups and you've sort of just hung out in there for a week, I spent an hour a day just hanging out, commenting, adding friends, sending messages, engaging with these people. I would move to step B or A, B, whatever you want to call it. Step A, you probably do these things at the same time, really. You want to start posting. I'd say at least, I mean, Aaron, how often do you post? I would say a good range would be three to five times per week. So pretty much once a weekday when you're getting started and slowly narrow it down as you start to discover like what posts work and what doesn't, right? Yeah. Group post or profile And it's also post? like, sorry, what, Michael? Group post or this profile is group. post? This is group post. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's I, I would say C is, is personal. We'll get to that in a second, how you manage your personal profile because there's, there's ways of doing that as well. Uh, and also Aaron, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've noticed that like the wrong post in the right group or the right post in the wrong group, neither work. You got, you got to mix both of these. So you get the right post and the right group, right? It's like the community yeah, matters. That's, a lot. that's completely right. Cool. Sweet. So actually I'd say step C isn't even the personal way. We'll get to that in a sec. C is, is messenger, dude. It's how you handle the people that message you and, and what, you, what you speak about with them. But before I get into that, let me talk about the types of posts here. So the types that I've seen do really well are story posts. It's stuff like, uh, you know, how I went from X to Y, you know, how I did this, your story, the struggles you've gone through, some of the things that you've learned, and then like three things they can learn from that, right? And how they can apply to their business or their life. That's a great post. Another post that I've seen do really well is just case study posts. It's if you're working with clients, you know, how we took Rachel from X to Y, and then three points there. Three things they can learn from that. Uh, Aaron, are there any other types of posts that are working for you? I pretty much stick with the case study post. That's, I mean, that's 95% of the posts that I make. And it helps that your niche is a very technical niche. You like e-com, like their BS meter is so high, like these guys yeah. that run these businesses. So a case study post works great. Yeah. I found working with, with students on this strategy, the the market that you help really dictates what the posts look like. Like I mean, like you said, in the ecom, case study posts work really great, and the story posts I haven't had as much luck with. Um, and I think that that definitely depends on on who you're helping. Yeah. There's just some mark observation you're going to have to do. Like when you join these groups, like just look at the posts that are ranking, like the top 10 posts from the past couple of weeks and like see what they have in common. And then try and figure out how you can attach three bullet points to that. 
And one of the things that I do in, in all of my posts back when I was doing this, I mean, guys, I had a $50,000 month doing this, right? Like before I went harder mixing other methods. I think our first $10,000 upfront client came from doing this too. Yeah, it did. Our first $10,000 upfront. That's like raw profit for me, by the way. Just no expenses. Um, one of the things I have in common in all these posts is, is a clear, uh, if you need any help, feel free to leave a comment. Um, there's two things. First is the, uh, if you need any help, comment. Need any help. And the other thing that I've found really helps, and Aaron, I don't know if you're doing this, but credit the leaders of the group. Because what's going to happen is, you know, if it's like a group and there's like people leading it, be like, hey, I wouldn't be here without these guys. Because then they'll leave it in there and, you know, they'll even comment on it themselves. You know, that's been huge too. Like if it's like in, for example, I work with a lot of other marketers, right? It's like if I'm in ClickFunnels, I want to be like, I just want to thank the ClickFunnels community, you know, and I just want to thank Russell. And honestly, like I do, because like his books and stuff were awesome. So like, it is kind of a testimony for them, right? If I'm like, you know, here's how I do X amount in my business or whatever. So you want to credit the kid, credit the leaders because then you're much more likely to be left in that group and not just removed by an admin or something. I don't know if you do that, Aaron, but that's been a huge thing for me. I haven't done it, but I'll need to try it out. Give it a shot. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. So story posts, case study posts, and other than that, uh, one thing that people really don't think about, uh, Johnny Vo, one of our clients that worked with me directly. I mean, he's, he's another $100,000 a month client. I mean, he got a lot of luck just commenting, dude, like comments on posts. So like if somebody has a question or needs something, like you're not just posting in these groups, but you are commenting and engaging. Uh, and you're going to, like, if somebody says in your community, let's say you are serving software startups and you're in a software community where somebody says, Hey, you know, we're capped at $20,000 a month and we really are trying to get to 40 by the end of the quarter. Like what, what can we do? Like, if you see that post gold mine, comment right now and, and give them the advice you would give your clients. And there's going to be other startups that have that same problem that read your comment and message you. So that's another huge one. So story posts, case studies, comments, that's, that's huge. That's how I did it. Uh, and Aaron, I don't know if you're doing the comments thing, but man, it's, it's huge. That's been awesome for me. Yeah, I, I am. Doing, yeah. It's something that I did a lot when I first started as well. Nice. Good stuff. Cause some people, when I teach this, they focus just on posts and I just don't think that's like the way to do it. Yeah. Um, all right. So, and then C. So yeah, A, join five to groups. B, three to five times a week, post in there, story, case studies. C, um, personal. Oops. Um, personal profile. And then I would also say, I'd also have to get your insight, Aaron, on, uh, I'd say D is like what you do with messages. When people message you, inbound slash outbound messages, really what you're doing there. Uh, hear your insights. But in terms of personal, I've found, dude, that having a VA, this has been huge for my company, having a VA that is in your group chats, they're in your Facebook group, they're in your WhatsApp, wherever it is that you keep your clients, wherever you're communicating with Slack, whatever, having them in there and just constantly mining for success stories. Like once you start to have like 10 plus clients, you just, the success stories just pop up like once a week, twice a week, we've done, we have probably like one or two really nice little success stories a day. And just boom, immediately. It's on Instagram, it's on YouTube, it's on Facebook. It's posted to my personal, right? That's been huge. And that really engages the flywheel because then people, you know, they'll see your post in a Facebook group, they'll go to your Facebook profile, they'll see that you're getting results for clients and it just starts to go faster and faster and faster and faster. Um, so that's huge. Uh, besides that, you can post versions of your story and case study posts on your personal. Everybody that comments on your story in case study posts, add them as friends. So you build that personal credibility. And you want to aim to have the golden 5,000 friends and make sure that at least 2,500 of them are potential leads. Like people that you can see yourself doing business with from groups that you're in, et cetera. Um, 
are they messages, Aaron? I'll kind of give you that because I mean, there's so many different strategies, and I kind of want to hear what you're going through and what you've seen to work yeah. when somebody messages you, when you should message someone else, what that looks like. Yeah, for sure. So back to the personal profile, real quick. Some uh, some pointers there. A couple types of posts that you guys could be making. One leadership post. Um, I mean, posts that build your authority in the market that you serve. Um, simple call to actions every once in a while. This can be overdone, but uh, but it, but I've landed some clients just posting very simple call to actions on my profile. I mean, once you have the audience there, then then you might as well. And um, another thing that I can go into, I can go into it right now or, or later, is it's called a two-step post. Um, I'll just briefly kind of give you the 30,000 foot view of what it is. If you go to my profile right now, the latest post that I made, made is a two-step post where essentially um, I'm offering something. Um, Trey, are you pulling up my profile right now? Yeah, I am. Okay. I'll just wait for you then. This right here, right? Yeah. This one, it didn't perform as well as, as I'd like, but I mean, still 23 comments is, is fine. So a two-step post is um, essentially offering something. So who wants me to put together a free training on the strategies we're using to take brands to seven figures? And then I go over what it'll include. And then if you want it, comment 2021 below. And I had 23 people comment. And this is this is the most powerful personal post that that I've ever found. Because the thing is, I am 100% confident that all of those 23 people are e-commerce store owners that are right in my market because they want this free training. And I also know that their goal is to scale to seven figures or you know something similar. And that's exactly what my agency offers. So now I can go start conversations with all of these people. And of course, I'll give them the free training. But on top of that, I can drive a few of these people to a sales call and potentially close one, two, maybe three of these people just because it's the people that commented are exactly who I'm looking for. So that's been super powerful. Sweet. Yeah, that's been huge. Um, let me show you. I did something similar. And by the way, guys, I'm not afraid to mix business and personal. This is something that has been huge for me. I mean, you know, I lost, for those of you who know, I lost my grandpa uh, the 1st of December. And I just posted it. I was like, people say this is a, quote, business account or a, quote, personal account. If you're having to, if you're having to separate your lives like that, you need to rethink your whole life. Dude. That's my opinion. Like business clients, partners, they're friends just as much as your friends are. Like, it's the same life. So don't separate things. Uh, yeah, I did something similar, Aaron. Uh, I did this one that a buddy of mine showed me. It's launch time. It's my mission to help 10 people junior 20,000 a month in their agency. It's more like a beginner post. And 60 comments, dude. You know, pretty solid. Yeah. And some of you guys even commented to support it. <laughs> but a lot of comments. And once you start to kind of build your authority in the niche that way, I mean, it just starts to get just easy, man. So that's, that's great. And, and also this post, how we made two $1 million earners, you know, tagged some of you guys, schedule your call here. I mean, we've gotten, we got like eight calls from this man and they're still coming in. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, once you build a, a platform using these, these groups and posting consistently, it becomes pretty easy to make posts like that on your personal profile and, and bring in some business. So Aaron, walk, walk us through uh, messages. If somebody messages you, what do you do? Let's, let's talk, let's kind of separate this into two conversations actually. Let's do like inbound and outbound. I assume it's mostly inbound people messaging you, but if you have any outbound, I'd love to talk about that too. Just so inbound and then outbound those conversations. Yeah, let's let's cover inbound first. So I picture the messenger conversations almost like a, a mini sales call. And the reason I say that is when I'm having these conversations, I'm really trying to pinpoint where they're at now, what their goal is, where they want to take their business. And then if there's something that they're struggling with, the reason why they can't get there, I'm trying to figure that out as well. And then I have a little bit of leverage. Um, I can offer advice. Um, 
or I can, I can use that to drive them to a, to a sales call. So that's, that's my thought process there. It's pretty simple. Figure out where they're at now, where they want to go, figure out the problem. I usually offer a little bit of advice just to build trust and authority. And then after that, say something along the lines of, uh, well, I'm sure I could help you reach that goal. Are you willing to jump on a call? Are you open to jump on a call in the next week or so? And I have a very high success rate there. Nice. I, I never really articulated it like that, but that's my same exact mindset for like any direct message prospecting. It's a mini sales call. Where are they now? Where do they want to get? What's stopping them from doing it themselves? Do you want to get a call? And then on the call, it's where are they now? Where do they want to get? What's stopping you from doing it yourself? Here's our offer. It's the same thing. To get someone to take action at all, you need to remind them what they're after. I think that's like the core of that. kind of in succession this way. Where are they now? Where do they want to get? Offer. So that's inbound. I mean, that's, is it much different with outbound? It's, it's really not much different. So what I'll do with outbound, I'm not doing as much outbound at the moment, but it's, it's something that I was doing a ton when I was trying to gain my first couple of clients. So everyone who liked my post or commented something positive on my post, I would, first of all, I'd friend request them. And then I would wait 24 hours. The reason I did that is because I'm planning on sending them a message 24 hours later, but I don't want to get, I don't want to end up in their, in their request box. I want it to go straight to them. So I send them a friend request, wait 24 hours, and then I send them, send them a message that goes straight to their inbox. And the message is, I mean, it's very simple. Something along the lines of, hey, I saw you liked my post. Thank you for that. How's everything going for you? How's business going for you? just some opening line. And then after that, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm trying to lead this conversation towards where they're at now, where they wanna go and a little bit of advice and drive them to a call. So after that point, it's pretty much the same. Nice. Is everybody tracking? Yes, sir. Yes. Does everybody see the power of this? Is there any questions? I do have a question. Um, so I'm, so how do you feel about leveraging, uh, uh, what do you call it? Contractors, uh, case studies, Aaron. Yeah, it's, I mean, I think it's completely fine. That's what I did at the beginning. Yeah. It's just going to speed up. It's going to speed up the process. Um, leveraging results just works so much better than anything else. Mm -hmm. And if you have a contractor that you're going to work long term, and yep. he's he's willing to share case case studies, then I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, I awesome. think it's it would just benefit. Awesome, thank you. Aaron, is your next step going to be starting your own group, or have you already done that? No, I haven't done it. Um, it's something that I've thought about. It's, and I definitely want to do it at some point. Um, I'm just not sure exactly when. My thought process is just kind of, I've already got a model here that's working so well. And um, I don't want to break that model by, by trying something new. But, sure. but it's, it's been in the back of my mind for a while. Yeah, uh, I've actually, Aaron, I've noticed, dude, it's actually like, I could just be doing it totally wrong, but it's surprisingly harder to prospect in my own group. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that sounds backwards. <laughs> it does, right? You'd think it'd be easier, but it's actually surprisingly harder. Now, one thing I've noticed though, you can do, I think three of these posts a month into your group, huge, just freaking huge. Launch time, permission to help who's with me. That's just magnificently powerful. Because <laughs> yeah. I mean, I posted that in the group and that was awesome. Yeah. But like just the typical, hey, here's a case study, blah, blah, blah. People are like, ah, whatever. It's like, ah, it's your group. You're going to do that one. Yeah. 
you know it's like they write it off almost subconsciously because they like it's it's like trey and he's posting in his group like you know so i, I think the way that i can summarize because i know i've got a guy that i know who does like ten to twenty thousand dollars a day in their top of funnel as a group and they just have one coaching program it's a five thousand dollar offer with like 10 coaches on board they got sixty thousand members in their group and all they do man is they just use the group as a place to share success stories of their clients yeah that's literally all they do yeah people so i think underestimate that's the, way- the power of group yeah yeah, people definitely underestimate the power of groups. That's something that people say a lot is I share the strategy and they say something like, I never even thought of this because it's so simple. But it is yeah. simple. It just works so well. Yeah, back when we first started teaching this, like I didn't quite understand the power of it either. I mean, it was like I was teaching it, but I hadn't like totally experienced it yet. Because I just knew it worked. Because we'd done like, we'd, we probably made like 30 grand total from groups. This is just me, like running my business just for fun. And then like I closed D, this is $10,000 upfront client. And then I closed Nick, $15,000 upfront client. And I started receiving you know, all kinds of messages from people. And now skip forward to today. I mean, I don't, I don't know how many people even in the seven figure system group are from Facebook, but I imagine it's a good portion. You know, it's a powerful model. Uh, that mixed with a VSL mixed with some form of content, like on LinkedIn or YouTube, it's just like, bro, you just go nuts. You go ham.